Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph y equals tan of 2x minus pi halves. Uh, when graphing the tangent function, you know, the important thing is we obviously want to know what the parent function looks like. Um, or you know the parent graph is going to look like. And then also to identify what exactly is going to be our transformation. And a lot of students will see this negative pi halves and say, oh, it's just going to be shifted pi halves to the right. But hold on a second. Remember, we got to go through our process and our, and our ways to identify all the information. And I know sometimes it's tedious because I've been making a lot of videos and I do the same thing over and over. But the reason why I do it is because I, it, I feel so strongly in it that um, I know that it can help you out if you just follow along. So when graphing tangent, rather than just trying to you know, skip through it and make it as quick as possible, well, actually, we don't have an amplitude, right? Um, determine, write out what is the period, the x scale, the phase shift, and the vertical transformations. Obviously, we can see there's no reflection, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, but the period, remember, is just pi divided by b, which in this case, you can see my period has actually changed. So now, my period is pi divided by 2. So instead of a period being, instead of the period actually being uh, pi for the parent graph, and now it's pi half. So that's very important. Um, our x scale is just going to be our period divided by 2. So now we have pi halves divided by 2. So to do that, I'll multiply by the reciprocal. And my x scale now is pi over 4. And then lastly, we need to determine what is our phase shift. Now, usually on the tangent graph, we started at 0, right? And then we fell to the left and rose to the right. But our phase shift looks like it might change. So that's going to be 2x minus pi halves equals 0. So to solve, I'll add pi halves. So I have 2x equals pi halves divided by 2, divided by 2, x equals negative. I'm sorry, what am I doing? x equals pi over 4. And our vertical transformation is going to be if the graph is going to be shifting up or down, which is our d, which in this case you can see I'm not adding or subtracting anything outside the function or equation, so therefore it is none. All right, so typically, typically when graphing tangent, we went from uh, pi halves to negative pi halves. We cross at 0, 0. Here was an asymptote. Here was an asymptote. And the graph looked like that. right? Very, very quickly, got to know what the parent graph is. That's probably in your book, in the notes, in the notes I provided, blah, 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 blah. So let's go and take a look at now. Now we have my phase shift is at pi over 4. That means instead of starting at 0, I can now start at pi over 4. All right. Then the next thing is the x scale. Now remember, in the, in the parent graph, the x scale is pi halves. That means from the intercept to the asymptote is pi halves. Now my x scale is pi over 4. That means from my intercept to my next asymptote is pi over 4. So that really is pi halves, right? 2 pi over 4. Um, and then the next one would be 3 pi over 4. And the next one would be pi. So notice the distance between each of my x scales is pi over 4. Therefore, if I go from, now again, we start here, right? So to the right, x scale is an asymptote. To the left is an asymptote. So the to the right is an asymptote. To the left is an asymptote. Then I go to x scale. To the left is an asymptote. To the right is an asymptote. Now, again, I just follow along the same pattern. Okay, So what's important about this one um, that I like this problem is a lot of students just always quickly want to assume, oh, you're just going to take this graph and shift it to the right pi over 4, um, or pi halves. But you see, we're not actually shifting to pi halves. We actually shifted over only pi over 4. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write your, our graph, the tangent function with the phase shift. Thanks.